Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Eddie here back with yet another 100% achievement of trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in I Wanna Go To Mars. This was developed by Bin Chicken Studios, published by Sometimes You and it's available for usually £4.19 slash $4.99 but at the time of this recording it is literally about a buck and a pound less, so only three quid odd. Nice. So we basically, this is like a little, uh, very easy, but very cutesy point and click adventure story. Um, suitable for the young, really, and the young at heart, which still is very, very, it's very cute. It's a, it's a very game for, basically a game for kids, but it is a cute one. So basically Robin and Teddy, our two main broskies and the teddy bear, they want to go to a place that never rains. So basically anywhere outside of the UK. Uh, but now nah, they want to go to Mars, so that's uh, pretty much um, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. That's their whole shtick. Uh, achievements: every single achievement is tied to uh, story-related progression. So you will be getting the full one thousand or one thousand very easy in literally less than twenty minutes. So you don't have to worry about anything. So with that being said, then <laughs> let's do it. So in terms of the dialogue and cutscenes and everything, um, you can't skip them, but obviously IG, it's worth just keep spamming the A button, um, just so that, you know, it get, goes by just a little, little, little tiny bit quicker. As fast and sweet as a journey taken on one's own feet. This is Robin, and this is Teddy. Robin and Teddy have just woken up after a big, scary storm, and have rushed down to make sure their moon base is... So, of course, first things first. Like I said, you probably don't even need commentary, but, you know, it's cool. Head over to the sandbox, press the A button, and then what you're going to do is just continue to press the A button until you see all your things destroyed, broken, and mashed up in the sand. Gutting. Vain to resurrect the rover? The living quarters? The water maker? The alien biolab? But it's too late. There is nothing they can do. Robin and Teddy curse the rain for what it has done. Robin slumps down in the sand with Teddy. That gave Robin a bright idea. Robin had heard about a magical place that never rained, and Teddy had sat through dozens of documentaries about sand. Robin and Teddy decide they need to rebuild. They want to go to a place that's always sunny, a place that never rains, that never runs out of sand. They want to go to Mars. I mean, this would be perfect, um, you know, for the Elon Muskians out there, but Elon Musk is kind of a douchebag now, and always has been, really. So, uh, yeah, he ruined Twitter, slash X, slash whatever the hell it's called. Hey, that's not me, that's from everyone else. Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to go up, we're going to press the A button next to this box, which is going to grab a couple of items here. So that's going to be the first one. Luckily, we don't even have to do it ourselves. Head to the left and find these buttons here just underneath the seesaw. And then up to the top left again, we're going to find the old Dino Roar, Dino Roar. Hello, Mr. Dinosaur. Oh, man, that's Peppa Pig stuff. Ah, oh, oh, you know when you got kids, huh? And you got kid crap roaming through your head all day. Uh, head over to the right and you find this ball of yarn. And then once that is done... That is, uh, we're going to head to the left, uh, right, more to the right, grab the bowl as well. And then that is everything. So when you get the ability to, you can go ahead and press the Y button in order to, uh, I assume we're shrinking into real, real small people. Either that or we've just built one of the best rockets ever. And that which has taken Elon Musk like six billion years and a thousand million billion dollars to do. Bro, just do what this kid does. Build it out of cardboard. Jobs, your nan's a good one. Uh, 
You see what I mean? I don't know. I don't know if we eat little tiny, tiny little jelly beans now. Or, uh, like I said, it's taken him not that long to chuck a few dinosaurs strapped to a couple of cardboard boxes and off we go. I mean, to be honest, the only Mars I want to go to is the ones with the bars. The old Mars bars in the chocolate. Mm. God damn, I love a Mars bar. Mars ice creams are even better, so that's that's my favourite kind of Mars. Anyway, we're going to come up to a couple of riddles with old Moonhead. And we all know Moon is made of cheese. Isn't that right, Gromit? Uh, but for now, you can just... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, that was a terrible attempt there at a Wallace and Gromit accent. Uh, but just go ahead and keep spamming the A button for now. The moon thought deeply. I mean, don't get me wrong, these are extremely simple riddles. Uh, so the first one is obviously a star. Basically, all the options are to do with you know, space stuff. So the first one's going to be a star. The uh, next one is uh, the moon. So we're going to be choosing the moon option. <laughs> a politician, a wagon. <laughs> Top answers. These are very much the chase answers. Uh, the chase UK, by the way, not any of the other crappy country ones. And uh, the last one, of course, is going to be the sun. Not a Weber barbecue or regret, hilariously. Uh, but it is the sun, so that one is nice and easy. And I will urge anyone that doesn't believe that the chase in the UK is the best, anyone that doesn't think that is welcome to fight me. Love you. Moon customs and sent them on their way. Don't forget the slip slop slap. <laughs> Ah, oh, you got so many weird thoughts in that one there. Don't forget to slip, slap, and slap. I'm closer and closer to glory, to triumph, closer to the red planet itself. It was as if nothing could stop them. This was their destiny. They were finally, finally, Teddy and Robin. They finally. Where in space is that beeping coming from? Teddy, Robin, and narrator annoyingly notice a beeping noise. They decide to stop monologuing. Okay, two things. We've got a little, got to do a little bit of a sort of exploring now to see what that beeping is. So head over to the left of the PAL 3000. And no, this isn't the, this isn't uh, Matthew Perry like the one of the Simpsons. Um, we'll just spam through it. So spam through all of that, pressing the A buttons, and then go to the right, press the A button to head it down a level. By the way, every greeting I am now going to end with, don't forget the slip, slop, slap, because that is funny. Head over all the way to the left then, use the left elevator to go down, and we can see that the few L is super duper low. Not just super duper low, but it is super duper low. And you know when things are duper, it means they're in the pooper. Okay, so we're gonna have to go get some stars effectively now. That's what we're doing, star fuel. So head back up the uh, cardboard elevator, go into the middle one. So into the middle cardboard elevator, head up, and away we're out. Robin knew they couldn't stay here forever. It was time to get a move on. It was time for them to find stars of their own. With Teddy manning the ship, Robin stepped out into the cold vacuum of space in search of precious star fuel.
All right then, kids, let's go get some stars. Head to the left. Here is the first one, the big, chunky, and giant, so you ain't going to miss him. We're going to head over to the right, where we're going to see the second one. Uh, now, does anybody remember, actually, those little UFO sweets? The one with, like, loads of sherbet in the middle. Uh, they were disgusting. I didn't like them, but, uh, well, they were about. Unless I'm just showing my age right now. Uh, there's the third star, then. More up and to the right. Here we go. Now, the one that is just behind the fence, I don't actually think it counts. So, uh, you don't actually... I believe you don't need to grab this one here. I don't know why this doesn't count, but... Uh, oh, I mean, the, the... Well, the gauge went up, yeah. Grab it. Grab it! Then go up past the Moon Rover. Over to the left. And down is the next one. Right next to the colander with sticks picking out, uh, poking out of it. And then continue heading left past the crisp packet. Because again, remember, a packet of crisps are crisps and not chips. Chips are chips. Chips are fried chips. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll uh, come back to that argument later on. And hilariously... A lot of the puns, <laughs> a lot of the puns in this next pit are just incredible. Like that one there, the Schwarzenegger A steroid field. That's uh, that's a class one. Plus, there's a couple more movie puns as well. But anyway, this is what you'll be doing then for the next couple of minutes. There's five waves. You can't shoot or anything, but uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of A steroids or asteroids for short that are going to come down. You've obviously got five. Um, Bits of health right there, so you can't, if you get hit more than five times, you'll have to uh, complete the wave again. But it's genuinely easy enough. It's not so bad. So all you got to do is, um, yeah, dodge the stairs. So in every new wave, you will get a uh, something that we need to collect, as we'll be able to see. It's going to be a spanner, or dodge a wrench, so make sure to grab the wrench, and that'll give you full health. And it'll be the same for every wave, and that's another classic uh, line. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a rock. Ah, damn it! And we all know what that line is from, don't we? growing up. puts Teddy in the corner. Got another classic pun coming up in just a few seconds. <laughs> Thank you. 
LTA steroids. And we're finally safe. After their accidental shortcut through the Schwarzenegger A steroid field, Robin and Teddy were nearly at Mars. Maybe sometimes unexpected things just happen. What's funny is I'm now at that age where I get puns and things. Like, if any kids are playing this and they go, what's a Schwarzenegger A steroid field? They won't know, but we know, because that's funny. Right, so, as you can see in the top right-hand corner, we have nine broken parts remaining, so we're going to have to fix some things on the ship. Again, very easy. We need to fix the three things here. So the PAL 3000 on the left, the thing that's in front of our teddy bear PAL, and the computer on the right, or it can be the absolute nothing that is there. Head down, and again, you can press the X button in order to move the point and click thing. So this is the first one anyway. Um, make sure to uh, press the A button, so, uh, the X button, so that it is pointing at the PAL 3000, and we'll come back to the timeout thing on the left. We'll head down here to the what's called the engine room, and we'll first fix the light. Then we will fix the super duper fuel pooper, and then PAL 3000 on the right again, and then we'll head back up the elevator. Again, press the X button so you're not going down the elevator again so that it is actually pointing at the timeout thing. And that will be done. Now we can head all the way back to the right, head up the elevator again, and it's effectively going to be the end of the game, more or less. Nice and cutesy and chilled. is go to the bridge and press the arrive button. Our heroes had done it. They had made it. They had finally arrived. After all they had endured, it was time for our little astronauts to turn over the page. And begin a new chapter. And so it was. After rain and hail, buildings and rockets, customs and moons, lights and warning, our Stars heroes and fuel had arrived in steroids and multi tools. The place that's always sunny. The place where it never. And there we go, then, guys and gals. So that was it. That was, as I said, a very, a very chill, very cutesy, and very quick game. Um, so thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out, as always, to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Um, again, if you like true crime and gaming, please don't forget to check out my gamers, uh, gamers, gaming's darker side. I don't even know where the hell it is. Gaming's darker side on YouTube and wherever you get your podcasts. And that'll do it for me. I'll see you in the next one. Big love, and don't forget to slip, slap, slop. Hehehehe. <laughs>